Last weekend, it was a bright sunny day here in Switzerland. So my husband and I decided to head to the mountains to do some leap climbing. We went to try the newly bolted wall and hidden gem on top of Asher, with plenty of beginner-friendly routes and a beautiful panoramic view. Around 11 in the morning, we started a drive going to Wasserauen where we parked the car and rode the cable car going up to Ebenau. By the time we arrived at the climbing walls, it was already 12.30. That was the beginning of a long afternoon on top of Asher. My husband and I have been climbing for a year now, although most of those times are always spent inside the gym. The goal on this trip is to test all the knowledge and techniques that we learned indoors and apply them outdoors. For me, climbing outdoors is more challenging than in the gym. If my go-to grade in the gym is a 6A+, or a V3, climbing the same grade outdoors may feel one level harder. And, as you perhaps already noticed, there are no obvious holes here compared to the gym. So it is completely up to us to find and check the holes for ourselves as we send the route. I lose most of my energy holding onto the wall because it takes me too long to find the good hole. Aside from its difficulty and the lack of obvious holes, I found it scarier to fall out here than inside a gym. Maybe because I've never really tried falling from my rope. Or maybe it's because of the fact that we are on the edge of a mountain and I feel like I'll fall a thousand meters below if I let go of the holes. But you know, after some time, we realized that the more time we spend up here trying different routes and getting to know the wall as well as our equipment, the more comfortable it gets. After the first hour, we did not mind whether the route that we are climbing does not feel at all like the grade it says in the chart. We just go for it. Reading the route and finding the holes becomes somewhat easier, which means that we also climb a little faster because we did not need to rest on the ropes too much. We realized that the faster we climb, the less pump we get in our forearm. Although, we were not yet consistent. Sometimes, we are still choosy when it comes to finding a comfortable hold. With more practice, I think we will manage to climb more efficiently. Above all, I finally managed to climb a route or two without using top rope. Which means that I managed not to rely on the rope too much. Maybe I cheated once. But the point is, I finished the route, clipping my rope as I go. I also managed to trust myself more after a while. I convinced myself that I can do it and nothing horrible will happen. Having a belayer I completely trust my life with made a huge difference. And let me tell you, overcoming these challenges even in a short amount of time is liberating. It made the entire time on the wall more enjoyable and fun. So, for the rest of the video, I'll let you watch our best ascents with grade level varying from 6A to 6B+.
yeah, let's go back to the part where Albi fell. See? Nothing bad happened. He just lost his balance. But I got him. <laughs> 